Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to finger knit, which is just a really fun activity to do with your hands when you're watching TV or other things like that. And there are a lot of different ways that you can wear them, and if you stay tuned to the end, I'll be showing you some of those ways. Here are some that I've already made. As you can see, you can see the pattern in there. And so, let's get started. So, for this activity, all you're going to be needing is yarn of your choice some scissors, and, of course, your fingers. So, up the first, you're going to find the end of your yarn, and you're going to place it in between your thumb and your index finger, pointing towards you. Then, you're going to grab it, and you're going to go behind your pointer finger, and you're going to start weaving zigzag in between your fingers, like that. Once you get towards the end, you're going to wrap around behind your pinky and then go back the other way. After you have that, you're going to go around another time so that you have two layers of string. You should have something that looks sort of like this. For the next step, you're going to grab the string from the bottom row and you're going to pass it over your finger and over the other string so it stays behind. Then you're going to take the next and do the same thing. You'll do that till you get to the end of your fingers. After that, you're going to grab the strings and push them to the bottom of your fingers and take the string from behind and go around again. After you've done that, you'll get what you started with and you'll just do it again wrapping the bottom one over the string and your fingers. It'll start looking sort of like this. Trust me, it'll look better once you keep going on. This is just the start of it. After you've done a few rows, you'll start getting a little tail on the on behind. So what you want to do is just, it gets easier when you can just pull on it to bring it down to the bottom of your fingers. So you're just going to keep going around your fingers, doing more rows, until you have it getting pretty long. I need mine a little longer because I'm going to be making an anklet with this. So I'm just going to do a few more rows. As you can see, you get faster with the more practice you get. So don't worry if it is a little slow at first. I actually um, learned how to finger knit with my friend Maddie. That after she taught me, I think I did like 20 scarves that day. I actually taught my sister that same day. Although, mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually, um, I lost the scarves. So I've been having to knit like the rest of them for the pictures and stuff that you'll see at the end. I had to knit those in the next and yesterday and today. So that just shows how fast you can actually really do them. So this mine's getting about the right length, so I'm going to tell you guys how to finish it. Um, what you need to do is grab your scissors and cut about, about this length. You just snip right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And after you have this little tail here, what you're going to do is you're going to start putting the tail through the loops that are on your fingers. So you're going to go through this one, then through the next, then through the next, and then last through your little pinky. After you've done that, you're going to just slide them off of your fingers, and you're going to pull on this, like that, as far as it'll go. So it makes a little knot right here. Can you see that? So after you've done that, just for good measure, I like to tie a few knots so that it won't, I make sure it won't come undone. And I also like to tie a few knots on the other end here. Pull that too until it gets tight. And tie maybe two knots would probably be enough. So here I'm going to grab what I've knitted and I'm just going to wrap it around and tie it at the length that I want it. So you can actually, you don't have to do inklets with these. I just think they're really cute and it was like good to make a video. You can actually make scarves and stuff like, again, what you'll see at the end. 
So after you've done that, you just need to cut it at the end, the extra strings. I'm just going to take my scissors and snip them as short as I can, right there. And you can actually cover this, sometimes I even tuck it in maybe, or just put it towards the back, but that's basically how it turns out. Thanks for watching, and now you guys will see some other ways that you can wear them.